Hey there, this is Robert from Master Guitar Academy. Today I'm going to show you a few ways of playing the A major shaped bar chord. There are several ways you can play this type of chord, so let's explore them. And I'll show you my preferred way of playing this type of chord. Now before we get started, this video is brought to you by Skillshare, which is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering creative and entrepreneurial skills. A premium membership gives you unlimited access, so you can join the communities and classes that are just right for you. So to fuel your creativity and your curiosity, Skillshare is a great place to keep you learning and thriving. I found a really great course on how to use an iPhone to create promo videos and demos. See the link in the description. Skillshare is also affordable, especially when you compare it to in-person classes and workshops. A yearly subscription is less than $10 a month. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in the description and get a two-month free trial. Now let's get to those pesky bar chords. The A major shaped bar chord. What is that? Well, let's start with the A major chord. I usually play it this way. Just boring. Now the drawback with that is that you don't get the open E string ringing. So sometimes I play it this way. Now I get that E string ringing. Some people prefer to play the chord this way, rearranging your fingers, which is perfectly fine. But I usually do this. And the reason for that is it's the fastest way to get that chord and I can do things like... Now to make a bar chord from this shape, you can use the same approach as I just showed you. So one common way to do it is to use this grip for A. Then you just move all the notes up one fret and you get B flat major. Now look at my arm. It's kind of twisted in a weird way. So I don't really like to use this grip for this chord. So as you can see, it's not a very comfortable way to play this chord. But the benefit is that you get the E string ringing if you apply an even pressure. In fact, you can add the uh, E string, the low E string as well. That's actually easier. Because then you don't have to worry about muting that string. However, this grip becomes really difficult as you move up the neck. Because it's really hard to fit the three fingers in on one fret as the frets get narrower. Right? It gets too crowded for the fingers. So that's why some people prefer to play this bar chord this way. Now I'm barring with my ring finger. So it's very similar to the approach I showed you for the A chord that I use. It works really well. So one of the drawbacks is of course that it's hard to get the top E string ringing. It's almost impossible. But I don't think it's a big deal. We don't always need to have that note in there. I already have the triad right here. And I have the bass note, the root note here. But there is another issue. Look at my thumb and my fingers, the angle. I could play it this way, but now my fingers are angled this way, which can be a problem when you play higher up. 
right? So ideally, I want to have my finger parallel to the frets. And in order to do that, I need to put my thumb further down the neck and apply a pressure this way. See the difference compared to And this is hard for the hand to keep playing this way, at least for an extended period of time. But there is an additional benefit when you use this grip, because now you can add the pinky on the E string. So for example, we can play an E major 7 chord this way. But I find that it's a lot of work for my hand to play this way because I need to put my thumb down low enough so I can reach with the fingers. So I end up doing this. And my arm and hand gets tired quite quickly. I can of course use the same approach when I play an A major 7 chord. In fact, I can keep my thumb higher up, so it's easier for my arm. But I can't do that when I play this way. It's just impossible. So, what to do? My preferred way of playing the A major shaped bar chord is this way. So it's almost the same thing as this, but I'm using my pinky and I'm not strong enough to just use the pinky. So I put my ring finger on top of it like this. And look at my thumb. My hand is now in a very relaxed position. No more this kind of thing, which puts a lot of strain on your arm and your hand. I can keep my thumb here or here. It's equally easy. It's a very comfortable and natural position for your hand. So, again, the pinky is going and then I add the ring finger on the side of the pinky, actually. It's not completely on top, it's just on the side. And it's a very, very natural move for me to do. Again, I don't get the E string ringing but I don't need that. Now, an additional benefit is that it's easier to play higher up on the neck because the pinky is your smallest finger. You can't play this grip here. Or at least it's very, very hard. You could do this, of course. But as you go down the neck, I find this one gets difficult because it puts that strain on my arm. And if you notice that my guitar sounds a bit out of tune, that's because the intonation hasn't been set perfectly yet. Take a look at this one again. My fingers are at an angle, which is not ideal when you 
want to bar one fret. And as I said, you can get around that by doing this, but then you put more strain on your arm. Compare that to using the pinky. The pinky is more parallel to the frets anywhere I go. So there you go. That is my preferred way of playing the A major shaped bar chord. Give it a try and let me know how it works for you. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel. Click that bell icon so you don't miss anything. I'll see you next time.